Hi everyone! In this quick video we're going to take a look at our new updated AutoMeasure 2.0 and it's going to be helpful for those who already used AutoMeasure 2.0 before because we added some new features and we updated it significantly and for those just exploring Creo because we're going to go step by step through all the categories that this tool has and I'm going to tell you and show you everything. So let's go to Automator 2.0 tab and we will start with rooms and areas. So uh, the first thing you'll notice when you launch the tool is that you now see the progress. It's not just a spinner anymore. You can actually see on the drawing where the tool is working and how much time is left to complete the search. So it will take me another 10 seconds here. And rooms and areas is the category to search for all the rooms in your drawing and get area measurements for them. And we'll wait for another more second. Yes. So each room now has a polygon measurement created and you will see areas displayed in different colors. What this means is that areas with the same color are of similar size. For example, you can see it clearly uh, here, uh, smaller rooms like bathrooms and some undefined areas are in light green. They're small. Some larger areas are in yellow and uh, some other rooms are in pink and purple. So their similarity is based on their size. You can also see that I have this option here, include doorways. And I have this option on. So my polygons include doorways here. So you can see here that the doorway is included and there are no like empty spaces for doorways because I have this include doorways option on. You can turn it off or turn it on uh, depending on uh, your needs. It's it's customizable. We can try this this option being off. It will take us another another 20 to 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. And now you can see that the doorways are excluded from our polygons. They're just empty. So it just depends on your needs. You can customize it. Uh, the other thing that you see is that I now have the polygons names according to the name of the area. I have this option here, rename with the I. I have it on. Again, you can turn it off if you don't need to get the names for your polygons. Uh, so, Rename with AI is an integration with ChatGPT, and the naming is based on the text provided on the drawing. So, you can see some areas, like some corridors, some uh, smaller technical, uh, smaller technical rooms are are called undefined, or they just have some some random name. For example, like here, it's just some piece of information that AI could uh, pull up from this PDF and it gave us this name. But for the majority of cases, um, the polygons have names. Bathrooms, master bedrooms, double bedrooms, balconies, uh, stores, and everything. So you will have usually some, like a few undefined areas just because not all the areas are named, but you can rename them manually if you need to, or just leave them like that if naming is not something important for you. And you, of course, can rename them with the I. Click on more details here, and you will be able to see that AI adjusted the name. It just made it more like, simple. But you can ask the AI to, for example, to add, uh, add the area and click improve. And then AI is going to add the area for those, um, for those rooms, for those names, again, based on the PDF text. So now you have it like that. You can ask the AI to do pretty much anything. For example, uh, rename all the master and double bedrooms to just bedrooms or all the undefined areas to corridors or something like that. So you just 
type in the request just like you did it with chat uh, with chat gpt so it's easy to control and when you create the measurements you're going to have all those um, all those areas measured here, all these polygons here. You can, of course, rename them, change colors, group them, everything uh, that you do with your usual uh, measurements. So that was for rooms and areas. Now let's move on to the next one, doors and windows. This category allows you to find all the doors and windows in your drawing and not only find but classify them by their width. It's super fast, it takes a few seconds to process the whole drawing. And you can see all the doors and windows are of different colors again. And the, the same elements that of the same color uh, have the same size, the same width. So you can see here that those small windows are all green, meaning they are of the same width. You can select to save uh, these elements as center lines or count. For example, I'm going to do it as count. Uh, so, um, if I create this measurement, I now have all the elements classified here, windows of different sizes, for example, window uh, 1000 millimeters, it's going to be 49 of them, um, three windows of uh, 1600 millimeters, uh, different sizes of doors, and you're going to have all numbers here. And it's really easy to use for a quick report, for example, for a quick takeoff report. I just open it and I'm going to have all these measurements here, but I, for example, can group them by measurement name since it contains the information about their size. And then, for example, to see the number, I'm going to just delete everything here so I can see count. And I'm going to aggregate them by this count measurement. And I'm going to have all the information about the number of doors and windows for each category, for each group. So it's very simple and quick uh, to see the results in your report. The next one is wall internal finishes. And uh, this category allows you to build polylines for your internal walls with or without doorways and windows. Again, I have these options on, so my polylines are going to be uh, with removed doorways and windows, and in just 10 seconds you're going to see how it looks like. Uh, it also depends on your needs. You can uh, always turn it off or turn it back on. Uh, for example, we added this, this option for those working with walls, and sometimes you need to remove some openings, so you can do it by selecting remove uh, doorways and windows options here. And in just a moment, you will see my polylines. Mm -hmm. You can see all my walls where my internal walls were measured. And you can see that all the windows and doorways were removed uh, from, from my search. So I have like split up polylines, uh, but it's something still very convenient when you need when you need the openings to be removed. And you can see here again that all my areas are now named according to the information given on the PDF. So some are still undefined, some are named properly, and you can always um, change it using this more details in Rename with the I feature. Just put in the request. The same situation as with the rooms and areas. Just put in the request and uh, your, your areas are going to be renamed. When I create the polygon, I'm just going to have all these polylines here named uh, with colors. Again, you can always group them, change colors, change names. Now you can filter by color, for example. So there are a lot of options how to work with your measurements in Measurement Manager. And we also have wall external finishes. So right now, AI will try to find the external wall. Of, of your footprint. So for example, if you need the perimeter um, of your footprint, you just run this tool and you will get a linear measurement for your, for your footprint. Mm -hmm. And now I have the external wall. I don't have any settings here just because it's a pretty simple measurement. I just have one polyline and when I created it's basically two polylines, so they're split, but you can also always um, 
join them and close. You can work with polylines many different ways. The next category is, um, is something that we had before the update. It's gross internal area, gross external area. Uh, so if you click on any of those categories, you're just going to have your external or internal area measured. So you're going to have a polygon, so area measurement for your footprint. Again, it's something that, that we had before, before the update. And it will take a second. And yeah, now you have a polygon for your gross internal area. Uh, the same is going to be for gross external area, but with the external wall included. You can also select net internal area and have all your apartments found and named. You can see it here, again, all your units are now found. Uh, again, some of them are of the same color, meaning that they are of similar size. And all of them were named based on the name provided on the PDF. So it's really easy to use because you already have all your units' names pulled up. And if I create this measurement, I'm going to have all my units here. And custom category is something that we previously had in Automator 2.0. It's uh, the category for custom search. When you just type in the name of the area you're looking for. For example, I type in balcony. Mm -hmm. It's now searching for all the balconies on my drawing. And I have all the all the balconies found and measured. I can type in another another word, for example, bathroom, and it's going to find all the bathrooms for me. It's especially helpful for some, for example, larger floor plans. For example, here I have a lot of bathrooms and I'm going to have all of them measured Mm -hmm. I can create the measurement and I will have all the bathrooms here. I can create a group called bathroom, rename all these measurements, for example, like that. Bathroom. And I have all the bathrooms right now and I can create group for them. This is the way to work with this custom tool. So that was pretty much it for this new Automator 2.0. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you tried it or will try it soon. And if you have any feedback, just let us know. We'll see you in the next videos.